Do we listen intently to God's messages? A blessed day, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. Not too long ago, an old man working at John Paul II High School, somewhere in the USA, narrated when he first learned to pay attention. He had enlisted in the Army and was given a chance to serve in the 101st Airborne Division of the U.S. Air Force. The Army instructor made it very clear to all the young recruits in a loud and usual military fashion in giving a command. Men, listen up. Jumping out of the plane is a very serious business. Pay close attention at all times. Follow instructions carefully. If you don't, you could pay for it with your life. As soon as he had finished these words, the men saw a plane flying directly above them. As the instructor continued to speak to them, the recruits were distracted at what they saw. Ten men had jumped from the plane. As they were falling from the sky, one man's parachute failed to open. The recruits could not believe what they are seeing. They watched in horror as a soldier hit the ground at over 100 miles per hour. They witnessed blood and guts splatter and scatter all over the place. Shocked and stunned, it turned out to be just a dummy. But it was a lesson, he said, all the dummies learned and never forgot. This leads us to the question, Who do I listen to? Who will I obey? In today's Gospel reading, the people of Chorazin and Bethsaida did not listen to the message and rejected the Lord and therefore rejected the one who sent Him, God. What happens to us when we reject God? We end up falling from the sky and breaking apart. We hit rock bottom fast. It doesn't matter how much we have or how privileged we are. If anything, the weight of our possessions just makes us fall faster. And the more privileged we are, the more shocked we become. In the Bible, the word listen or hear appears hundreds of times, which means it is an important word. Its value cannot be overemphasized. Without it, there can be no effective communication. Listening to the Word of God is a necessary part of communicating with the Lord through prayer. God speaks to us through His words, as written in the Bible, and as spoken by His messengers. It is the only way to gain knowledge and wisdom and to know His will for us. As we wish to ask many things from the Lord, let us also listen to Him because He also wishes it to tell us many things. When Jesus sent the 72 disciples to heal the sick, proclaim the good news of salvation, He intended these disciples to be His mouthpiece. Unfortunately, though, some towns did not listen to them. Hence, Jesus rebuked them, saying, Woe to you! Jesus then warns them that it is not only Him that they rejected, but also God, the Father who sent Him. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Heavenly Father, we humbly ask for your forgiveness for the many times that we consciously and unconsciously fail to listen to you through your messengers 
and the people that you send us. Grant us the grace that we may be transformed so that we will always have a listening ear and possess a responsive heart to your message of love. Jesus, we trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.